Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for clicking in. This is going to be your intimate extended bonus reading for the season of Leo. So thank you so much for all of your likes and views this season. You definitely earned this bonus reading. Um, and so thank you all of you who are subscribed to the channel, new and old. I love you guys, thanks for your support. And for those of you who are brand new, welcome. Please check the description box for all of my deets. And also most importantly, don't forget to subscribe Subscribe to the channel and tap the notification bell so you can catch future readings. So I'm really excited to switch things up this season, you guys. I've gotten a couple of new decks and brought out some old ones that I haven't really used very often in these readings. And so uh, I was feeling a little bit of a mystical vibe. So I'll be using the mystical Lenormand. And if you haven't already read the title of the video, this reading is for 18 and up only as I will be using the erotic fantasy fantasy tarot. So if you don't like seeing naked booties and people doing salacious things to one another, then please click off and have a blessed day in the Lord, as we do not want to have any young children's eyes or ears scarred for life. So please join me if you are not a child and you enjoy this sort of um, down and dirty conversation, Sagittarius, which I know you do. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm really excited. Um, of course, this reading is intended to resonate with the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And as I always say, take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Time, energy, and gender is all fluid. And also, if it is your reading, I would absolutely love to hear from you in the comments. If it is not your reading, please check your other placements for other um, videos and messages that you need to hear. So first, I will be starting off with the Spell Casting Oracle Cards by Flavia Kate Peters and Barbara Michael John Free, which is a mouthful. And um, speaking of mouthful, I'm not really sure um, all of the images in this new deck, so just kind of bear with me. Uh, I don't know how erotic it's planning on getting up in here. So, so yeah, let's see what the general theme is, perhaps a lesson. This could be about you, about your person, which really that's what the reading is intended to be about. And also cross watchers, AKA crotch washers are welcome. So let's see what the theme is for you in Leo season, Sagittarius. So we have travel. I love this. So you guys are travelers. You love adventure and uh, you love exploring and discovering new things. And so I love this energy. Uh, it looks like this this woman could actually also be uh, with child. Um, and so this could also signify some sort of a journey. And so whatever journey you're currently on right now, Sagittarius, I kind of feel like you're mid-manifestation. So we've got a waxing crescent moon here. We've got this bright north star that this woman is following, um, and she's wearing this long, voluptuous red dress. I feel like there's a lot of passion and intention here on this journey, whatever this might be. So whether this is about you or your person, um, I feel as if a lot is to come, okay? So waxing crescent moon is, again, mid-manifestation after your intentions have been set and you're starting to take action on, on said plans or dreams, right? So so bottom of the deck, we've got talent. And uh, so perhaps some of you could be showcasing your talents right now. And we've got another waxing crescent here. And I kind of feel like this reminds me of the star. Don't you love how we've got basically the same image here? It's the, the waxing crescent moon. And this, this woman here is actually touching that bright north star. So I think that right now, Sagittarius, could be a time where some of your hidden talents are revealed. Maybe this is a time where you're reaching for the stars on in some level and really understanding that that you're the one that's in the spotlight. And maybe also, Sagittarius, this could be, um, again, for cross watchers, this could be about your person finally um, going after their dreams, um, perhaps being in the spotlight for some reason, maybe. Um, 
I just heard maybe some of you are attending events where you will be showcased and and your talents will be um, seen. So congratulations if that's you. That's an exciting energy. Um, so let's see what's going on in the tarot. So I'm going to shuffle a couple times. And of course, we will be digging into this person, whoever they are, and discovering their thoughts. What's going on in their heart space? how they're viewing you in the 3D world, as well as what their intentions are towards you, what their true desires are, as well as their desired outcome. And we'll also be seeing something that you're not aware of with this person's situation currently. So this could be something that they haven't revealed to you. Maybe they intend to, maybe not. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we've got for you, Sagittarius. What is this person currently thinking? What is this person currently thinking? What's going on in their current awareness right now? Starting out with the Three of Cups. Nice. How is this person currently feeling about you? What's on their heart right now? I just heard wishing for you. So for some of you, this bright north star could signify this person um, desiring you, wishing for you, hoping um, to somehow connect with you. So what is really going on in their heart space? Come on now, Cletus. Let me get a card up in here. There we go. Wow. So we've got um, Ass Out Petunia over here in the forest praying to a god with the Five of Pentacles. Meanwhile, right behind her, we've got all of the riches she could possibly imagine. Um, let's go ahead and see how this person is currently viewing you in the 3D world. How are they currently viewing you? Oh, uh, why does this card turn me on so much? <laughs> Sagittarius. I knew it was going to be you. I knew it was going to be your reading that it was going to get raunchy. So let's see what this person's intentions are moving forward. What are their intentions for you? We've got the, uh, the two of cups. Oh, Nasty and sensual. Okay, I see how this is going to be, Sagittarius. So what is this person's desire? Their desire or their desired outcome is the Ten of Wands. And you know I'm going to be messing with this angle, so just don't even, just don't, just, just don't, okay? Um... <laughs> Please forgive me, Saggies. I'm in a very silly mood tonight. So what is the thing that we're not seeing right now about this person's situation? Maybe something that still needs to be revealed, just in general, something happening right now for them. Oh, I just got a little cold chill. We got the King of Pentacles coming up here. Very um, interesting and strong energy. So let me slide these bad boys over. And we will take a look at what's on the bottom of the deck. Wow, so we've got the, the Knight of Cups here, okay? And this card came out in the Capricorn reading as well. I think in the recent past, this person um, perhaps realized some feelings. Maybe they've decided that what they're wanting to do out of respect for themselves is be honest about how they're truly feeling about you, Sagittarius. This is a romantic energy. It's, it's Knight of Cups. This is someone wearing their heart on their sleeve and being authentic about about how they truly feel. And so, Sagittarius, if this person is coming to these conclusions, you got to keep in mind that even though their intention is here, uh, there's still some, some sort of delay based out of fear, okay? The night energy is always followed by fear, which is why we don't see them arrive as a king energy or an emperor energy. So, I think that they may 
be coming to the conclusion that it's time for them. They could be even traveling towards you. And maybe they're starting to understand that they need to get up off their ass and make a move if they're going to manifest this wish that they have, which is connecting with you. Um, and clearly they want to connect with you romantically. So very interesting energy to start the reading. Um, Let's talk about the Three of Cups, shall we? So Three of Cups is friendship, celebration. It's also a card of reunion and reconciliation. So I think that that's what's really on this person's mind right now, Sagittarius. They, they're thinking about you as someone that they consider as a true friend, someone they can trust and celebrate life with. For some of you, this could signify a third party uh, relationship being involved, but that's not for everyone. Uh, I know a lot of readers and sometimes even myself, I'm guilty of doing this immediately thinking it's a third party. But um, as you can see, we've got three females celebrating here. And so I think there's sort of this energy of, of like I said, trust, honesty here and an innocence. And I think that this person is just really thinking about what it would be like to reunite with you um, and come back together in a place of, of celebration with you, okay? So their feelings, so like I said, here we got Ass Al Petunia on the grass, begging and pleading this statue, okay? Worshiping a deity and perhaps praying for, for abundance, praying for love, praying for all of the things that they want in this world. And right over her shoulder, we have all of those things, okay? But as you can see we also have oh I love the symbolism of three here we also have three snakes here guarding the honey guarding the the treasure and the wealth and the abundance so we know five of pentacles to be the energy of feeling left out in the cold uh, feeling abandoned forgotten struggling financially um, focusing on the things that you don't have and missing out on all of the treasures that are right in front of your eyes and so perhaps this person is just feeling lack without you and I'm hearing lost without you can't help us so, oh, I love that song. I just got chills. Um, so the Ten of Cups showing up as how they're viewing you, Sagittarius. Need I even say more? I mean, come on now. They're wanting to ravage you on a bed of flowers, okay? Damn, you can see this dude's got his tongue all the way down her throat and everything, and they're getting into it. Um, like I said, this card kind of turned me on before. But as you can see, we also have some children here playing in the background, and we have dolphins, um, very relevant actually in the reading so far. We have a dolphin here on her on her back as well. Uh, we have one on her thigh over here. So lots of cups, energy, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you could be connecting with the water sign but ten of cups is absolute emotional fulfillment and reunion this is reconciling again with someone and and making it work going the distance having the happy ending um, this is family and also just emotional fulfillment happiness true love and as you can see I mean these kids are playing in the background. There's joy here. There's this carefree feeling and these, these dolphins are jumping. And I think dolphins are also a sign of twin flame energy. Um, whatever labels you feel like resonate with you, but, uh, dolphins specifically are twin flame energy. And so I really think this person looks at you and they're like, damn, like, damn I wish I was your lover like this person wants to fucking love you Sagittarius they want to love you and be with you marry you um I think I'm gonna marry you so wow lots of songs coming into my mind right now for this reading I feel like this person definitely is connected to you on a soul level so uh two of cups coming up as their intentions they want union like more than anything, okay? They want union. They want to, to come together and share their cup of love with you. And they know that it would be a spiritual and sacred bond. They know there would be mutual feelings and affection and respect here. Um, two of cups is two people coming to the scene with their cups full. No one is desiring or expecting or requiring validation from anyone else. This is true, sacred, spiritual union. They want it. And they want you, Sagittarius. Now, their desire or their desired outcome 
is to release their burdens okay they want to unload they want to put their burdens down they're tired of working hard and busting their ass for other energies other people other places they've got a lot on their shoulders right now and they're ready to just kind of let it all go and release it I think this person um, is is dealing with a cycle right now that requires completion and it's like they're getting there they're almost there and and this could have to do with finances considering what we don't know about this person's situation situation right now is the king of pentacles so for some of you there could be a masculine energy in this person's environment that maybe has financial control of this person but ultimately more so for for the most of you I feel like what this person is going through right now is a leveling up in their life perhaps they're focused right now on 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 showcasing those talents even of theirs and and being successful manifesting abundance being able to take care of business and and um and find wealth within their own lives king of pentacles is daddy energy this is someone who takes care of business and the house someone who comes home and and rubs the feet and takes care of the kids like this is a man of dedication um someone who is loyal and stable stable and sturdy. This is the man or the person, okay? Again, gender can be reversed, but this is the person who takes care of business, okay? And that is what they're evolving into. And I think that with this travel card coming up, we talked about like a journey for this person. Perhaps that's the journey they're on. And maybe that's why they've been reluctant to share their feelings in the past. Or maybe um, maybe this person has even shared their feelings with you, Sagittarius, but it came from a place of 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 maybe immaturity in a sense or from a place of fear maybe they thought they were going to lose you and so they they laid all their cards out on the table okay this could be a lot of different scenarios but this person is focused on their abundance right now they're wanting to to be able to take care of you Sagittarius they don't just want to love you they don't just want to dig you down they want to take care of you and be that stable and dedicated partner that you've always wanted and deserved so let's go ahead and get some mystical Lenormand and see what is potentially blocking this person what is the blockage for this person? What is currently, um, or even something that's challenging them right now? Anything else from this deck? By the way, this deck is so freaking gorgeous. If you like Lenormand decks, um, this is definitely one that you want to add to your collection. It is freaking beautiful, and it was made in Germany. So pick you up a copy um I got mine on Amazon <clears throat> I get a lot of my decks on Amazon if they're not gifted to me and um wow so we've got quite a few things going on here so we've got the lilies which involves family <clears throat> it also involves um it also involves to me like a promise um Lilies, as you can see, she's tending to the lilies. She's putting time and effort into the lilies. And it's something that is is growing and prospering because of her hard work and dedication. So um, again, having to do with family, I feel as if maybe this person has been blocked and maybe this uh, Ten of Wands, like I said, maybe they're putting a lot of energy and effort um, in for other people. Maybe there are family members in their environment that they feel obligated to right now. Um, you know, this could even show up as like even children, um, just anything, right? This person is, is feeling obligated to their family at this time. We also have the anchor. So with the anchor also, this kind of solidifies what I said. They're feeling anchored down right now. Um, as you can see, we've got this pelican staring across the water at the lighthouse. It's like, I think this person really wants to, to get over there, but it's kind of, it's kind of going to require them to go the distance in a sense, or like I said, travel to you or just get up off their ass and make a move but I do think that um, it's very kind of symbolic here like the pelican isn't actually chained to the anchor if anything it kind of looks like it just broke free and so perhaps that's this person's goal maybe they feel chained down um, to a certain place person thing and I think that 
they're realizing that they're actually the star of the show. They don't need to let anyone hold them back or feel obligated to anyone in order to fulfill their destiny or be with the person that they truly feel like is home to them. And so with the coffin coming up, I love how it's in our uh, sarcophagus. Did I say that right? A sarcophagus, um, scarab beetle and everything. We've got just these like ancient, um, ancient hieroglyphics on here and the number eight. So eight signifying karma and karmic cycles coming to an end also turned on its side, meaning infinity. And I feel as if, um, this person had some, some cycles that needed to end. Okay. Perhaps they needed to, um, metaphorically, I don't know, hopefully not anyone physically, but this could take place in some people's um, environment where maybe this person has felt obligated to an elder and um, maybe this person recently passed away. Um, if so, uh, obviously rest their soul, rest in peace, but you know, people pass away and, and things like that happen and it's awful, but perhaps they felt obligated to someone um, who they may have just recently physically or metaphorically needed to close the coffin on. And so, um, again, having to do with karmic cycles coming to an end, it, I'm thinking of like mummification. Like I kind of feel like perhaps like this person's like going through a situation that's maybe been preserved for way too long. <laughs> that's what I'm hearing for some of you. Um, but then with the key, I love the sleeping dragon and like the, um, the egg cracks open to reveal the key. The key is, is basically saying that something is certain. So the card surrounding the key is basically confirmation. Um, but also the key coming out is kind of to me like this person maybe had to experience these things similar to waiting for an egg to hatch, maybe to uh, understand that they were the key to their own destiny, okay? Maybe they are now seeing like, wow, after this long awaited period of time, this egg is hatching, there's a new beginning starting for them and they're seeing like, wow, I really am the key here. I'm the key to making all of this happen. Um, very interesting and I love that the number 33 is on that card too I am 33 years old and uh, that's also the year of Jesus um, and so I think that in that significance um, maybe this person's journey involved a lot more than than the typical okay maybe they had to really go through it and learn some major life lessons and realize perhaps where they've been keeping themselves tethered to a situation that that really was out of their control to begin with okay and so <clears throat> bottom of the deck here we have the bear and so uh the bear to me represents like a maternal or paternal figure uh, as you can see too we've got this um we've got this imagery of the bee's nest and we had that over here um so the snakes surrounding the honey it's almost like maybe this person had some snakes or some people in their environment that needed to be exposed and and put to rest like i said metaphorically uh but as you can see we've got this bear like about to swat this this honey down onto the ground and obviously you know i'm hearing like poke the bear maybe this involved an elder like i said um someone that is some sort of like father or mother figure to this person that has made them feel obligated um, or made them feel like they were under control. Uh, I feel like this is a very protective vibe, but, but mostly I see it as like the antagonist in a sense. And typically that's what the bear stands for is like a maternal or paternal energy of protection. But I don't know, the look on this bear's face tells me that maybe that's what they said they were doing, but maybe their true intentions were revealed. Maybe this person or there's someone in this person's environment that was antagonizing them or, or just kind of poking the bear in a sense. Okay. And maybe these people, places, things needed to be revealed in order for them to truly recognize how powerful they are, how powerful this connection really is. Again, however it resonates for you, please let me know in the comments. Um, 
And again, guys, if you are resonating with this reading, uh, please don't forget to tap the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you don't miss future readings. I am going to be doing a sexual energy pick a card reading later on this week and kind of switching it up for the losers. I mean, other zodiac signs that did not make it into the top four and receive bonus readings. Um, of course, you know, I love all the zodiac signs, but um, obviously you guys are winners. So that's like enough said. So I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, card for advice from the Mystic Sisters Oracle deck. And uh, all of these decks, you guys, can be purchased on Amazon. I had a good friend of mine actually suggest that I start putting the links to the decks that I use. Um, I know one of my, my favorite readers does that, Tarot of Light, and um, I think I might start doing that. I might also just start regularly kind of putting the boxes on display. That way you guys can see what decks I use. For those of you who enjoy collecting tarot and oracle decks like I do, um, I think right now I have just over 100 decks. Um, so kind of similar to, uh, to Tarot of Light. I feel like I'm similar to her in that way. We both own a lot of tarot decks. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and shuffle one more time. And then I'm going to get your card for advice. I'll probably also read from the book on this one as I don't typically, um, typically use this deck. So what do we have for the sign of Sagittarius as advice moving forward? We have the dryads, <clears throat> interesting. So I love how we have these two energies kind of drooping here um, and these moths kind of like holding up their bodies. Uh, it kind of reminds me of what I said earlier, like perhaps this person needed to put some someone, something to rest um, in order for them to blossom and bloom. So let's go ahead and get, um, Let's get the book open for this one because I'm not exactly familiar with this meaning. So <clears throat> the dryads represent wisdom and grounding. So dryads are female nature spirits who preside over groves and forests. Each tree in the forest has a dryad as a protector. And when a tree dies, its dryad guardian dies with it. When you walk through a forest or garden, you may notice certain elemental beings or nature spirits call out to you to come closer and other voices are forbidding and you naturally stay away. This is a high frequency form of communication that those who spend time in nature know very well. Spending time outdoors improves focus, reduces stress, and accelerates healing both physically and spiritually. This card is a reminder to get some fresh air, fall in love with a tree, bask under its shade, make a connection, and listen to the wisdom of the tree sisters. So get outside, you guys. Now is a great time to do that. Um, now that we're in Leo season, we are actually officially in the opening of the Lion's Gate. One of the best things you can do right now is to sit outside and soak up the sun, soak up those light codes, and allow yourself to, to get those updates. Uh, level up and, and charge your with the energy of the sun right now um, go for a walk out in on a trail and and just listen to nature get in tune with the earth okay get grounded right now um, because I do feel as if this person is really gearing up to come your way um, I just think that what's going on right now again is out of their control they've got some major karmic cycles that need to come to an end before they can really see how um, how they are the key to making this connection actually happen, okay? So let's get some eternal messages. This is the only deck that's not pictured um, and cannot be purchased on Amazon, but it can be purchased on makeplayingcards.com. Um, and so, yes, let's see what this person has to say for you, Sagittarius. What do they want you to know? What messages do we have for Sagittarius for the season of Leo, please? Ooh, my ear is ringing off of the hook. My right ear is ringing. Ooh, that's like went deaf for a second. Anything else for Sagittarius? Okay, so let's grab this pile. Ooh, this is a thick one. So I hold back because I don't want to be rejected. 
Okay, makes sense, I guess. Um, since we see this person longing to reconcile and have a future with you, uh, perhaps they have this fear of rejection. They don't want to put themselves out there because they think you're going to be like, get lost, loser. So you really are the best thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah, absolutely. Sagittarius, they know that you are. They know that you're the real deal. I've been sending you messages in the 5D, so definitely trying to connect with you and perhaps maybe reach out to you energetically before they actually come forward in the physical. Some people don't want to see us together, but I don't care. So perhaps, like I said, maybe a maternal or paternal energy um, is kind of lingering for this person and making them feel like they can't they can't go their own way. They can't do the things they want to do right now. Um, Oh my gosh, and what do you know? I want to reconcile with you. We saw this theme pop up multiple times in this reading. Um, so just more confirmation, guys. More confirmation for those that are still resonating with the reading. We have, I know we're being spiritually guided. So this imagery of the moon and the north star and this growing like belly here just simply tells me this person knows that they're being drawn, they're being called to you. They know that they're on this destined path in order to reconcile and reunite with you. I'm being subliminal with how I feel about you. So again, whether this person is sending you messages in the 5D, maybe you're getting lots of signs and synchronicities regarding this person. Uh, maybe they you know, do things on social media to kind of give you little hints and things like that to kind of you know, maybe remind you of them. Maybe this could be them simply dipping the toe in the water to see if the, if the water's <laughs> cold. <laughs> um, so pay attention to the signs, pay attention to these this person's messages to you. They may show up in unexpected ways. So uh, we've also got, I do want us to be in a relationship. Absolutely, especially since they're viewing you as the 10 of cups and their, their desire or their intention is the two of cups. And I don't know how to express my love to you, so I keep it inside. So again, Sagittarius, if you are connecting with an earth sign as this person is rising up in their energy of the King of Pentacles, um, it's not as easy for, for people of earth energy to to express their emotions. And, and like I said, if you have expressed your emotions to this person in the past and maybe you didn't get the response that you wanted from them or, or maybe they ran, um, it's not because they didn't feel the same, okay? It's definitely not. They just don't know how to express themselves on that level. They may have some major anxieties and fears surrounding being honest about their true feelings. Um, and again, this could have to do with their family, with the way they were raised, um, and the energies that they've been tethered to in their life. So let's get a bonus message from the bottom of the deck shut the fuck up so this is the same message that came up for the bottom of the deck for capricorn so you could be connecting with the capricorn but the sexual thoughts that run through my mind um and and like i said they want to connect with you in every way they want to um marry you they want to be with you they want to make love to you they want to dick you down they want to have a family with you they want it all with you sagittarius um and they definitely have you on their mind right now and perhaps fantasizing especially with that energy of Leo which is fiery and passionate coming in um, Mercury is transitioning into Leo and um, and yeah I think also with Venus transitioning into Virgo this week um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a big theme of of taking those passions and pouring them into that earth energy and and taking action on on how you want things to be moving forward so hopefully that message is for you um other than that sagittarius i hope that you uh decide to to subscribe and to follow me on social media like i said all of my details are on there including specials i'm running right now i am doing the half price readings until august 31st so if you decide you want to go even deeper than this reading feel free to hit me up on social media um, and again stay tuned for some more content coming this week including a pick a card um, and also the twin flame 
uh, August forecast. So until then, you guys, I love you so much. I hope you're staying safe and well, and I will see you soon. Bye.